She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Whoops. <laughs> That'll burn off any meaning. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to cook on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, today I thought I'd share with you an easy casserole recipe. It's actually a shepherd's pie, and I think this actually has some origins in... England and all you English people should know it, but you know, we've kind of Americanized it because now we're using canned vegetables and um, adding leftovers and things like that. And it's a real simple casserole and it's great for the fall weather. And I've just put about one and a half pounds of ground beef here and um, it's just the frozen kind that I thawed out, the roll kind. And you can sprinkle in, I like to use the minced onions, and I just sprinkle in a few just like that to give it some onion flavor. And I do like garlic. I'm going to put in some garlic powder there and give some garlic flavor to that. And um, you do have to add some salt to your meat, and I like to use sea salt. And um, I know it's a, a little big right now, but it will melt on down in there. Um, the regular salt has some sort of chemicals and things in there like that. And you know, I you know, I like some of the high fructose corn syrup and all that good stuff. Not that that's chemicals, but you know, some things are bad for you and but some things in cooking, like if they put it in the salt, it changes the way it cooks. Like if you did salt with that chemical in it, it won't make as good baked goods. Just browning our ground beef here, and I do like pepper too. Um, I have some ground pepper here in the grinder here, and I'm gonna add that to that. It's just a couple different kinds of peppercorns there, and um, I do like the Montreal steak seasoning in any of the ground beef uh, things, and now. That really uh, livens it up. It does have a taste, and I just can't, haven't found anything that's like that. There we go. I like my meat well done here. Now, I don't really care about all the oil and things like that. It's okay if I eat it, but I do like to take a little bit out and I take a paper towel and be very careful when you do this and just blot it out. You can use one of those little sucky things, but you know, I don't feel like washing that and you can just throw the paper towel away. There we go. Now, I probably could have added some, you know, fresh onion or even some fresh garlic to that yet, but, you know, right now, that's just good enough for me for now, because I don't want to uh, use all my ingredients up today in my casserole. 
Now, you can make your shepherd's pie pretty much any flavor you want with whatever leftover sauce you have, like maybe some spaghetti sauce or some of that sandwich sauce or maybe even some like Chinese sauce. You can make a Chinese one. But today I just have some leftover tomato paste. And there we go. Now I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. Just thin that on out. Now, with my version, I like to simmer it with a can of the stewed uh, tomatoes. You can get the flavored kind or just the plain. And just have that simmer there. And again, taste it to make sure that it tastes good. Now, get your pan. And today we're using one of the glass ones. And I like to spray it down with a little bit of butter spray. So if it does stick, it um, has a little bit of cushion uh, with the butter spray. And we're going to take our meat mixture right off the, the stove top and pour that on in there. Hopefully getting it in the pan. And spread that on out. Now we're going to take a can of mixed vegetables and dump that out on top. I made some garlic instant mashed potatoes here and I have our meat mixture with our vegetables up on top and all we're going to do is take our mashed potatoes and just dump them up on top and then we're going to smooth them on out once we get them up on top. Kind of like an icing on a cake. There we go. We have our mashed potatoes up on top. And I really like Mexi corn, which is corn with some red peppers and green peppers there. And I just sprinkle just a little bit up on top. Well, actually a lot, because I do like it. And you can use any kind of cheese that you like. Today I had some shredded cheddar cheese. And you can just pour that up on top. Now, we're going to pop this in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes until it bakes down and the cheese is melted up on top and the mashed potatoes has gotten kind of kind of a uh, little bit drier up on top but that just means it's crispy so let's pop it in now set your timer Welcome back, and here we have it, my shepherd's pie. It's a great casserole that you can take to a potluck this fall, and your family will like it too if you change out to the vegetables that they like. Like today I used the Mexicorn, which I like, with cheese and the mashed potatoes and the spicy meat mixture that I, I concocted down at the bottom. And I know this had the origins in like the British and maybe some shepherds somewhere, but um, today it's become ours because you can really change it out to really match your taste. And it's just a great casserole and I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you do, send me your recipe and your photo. You might be in another episode. We might make it right here on the uh, Trailer Park Cooking Show. And while you're around on the web, visit my website, JoleneSugarBaker.com. I've got lots of stuff there that can save your budget, and you too can learn how to do it the Trailer Park way. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. I love you, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. The corn up on top, which is great with cheese and the mashed potatoes, and I you, I you, I you. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Maybe that's not food safe. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the stuff. double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.